You know, I think a lot of people think that football is all about what you do on the field, all the accolades you get, the big scholarships, going to the NFL. But what a lot of people don't realize is the most important thing in football is what it teaches you off the field. Football teaches you about life. And the biggest thing that it's taught me is perseverance. From getting on the D1 team, from getting injured, from getting arrested and kicked off that D1 team, from moving to California and now playing semi-pro, it's been a long journey. But I'm happy to be where I'm at today. And I'm happy that I have this platform to be able to help others and give advice and stuff like that. That's really what matters most to me. My shooters real steppers, tip toe, move the sides. Chewing on his teeth, Molly eating up his body. You move it even up wrong, the dirt is stopping. We, I got him, I ain't spare shit. No, we ain't boarding, I'm striking like a bitch. Pistol toe in his dog, you got a kick. Jada Smith cried a kid, this bitch got kicked. No long game bang, but I do bang bang. Call your wife, be the sue. Oops, black gang. Listen, guys, I don't know what that last guy was doing. I do not approve of his music. Um, Kids, if you're watching, do not listen to music like that other guy was doing. Be good. Go to church. Listen to church music. Do not listen to music like that. That was very scary. And that was what they call very hoodish. Or is that a word? Did I just make it up? <laughs> What's good, Addies? It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video, man. Welcome back to More Than Football, man. I don't know what the intro was, man. I'm just having fun with this, man. You know, one thing I want to teach y'all football players is that when it comes down to football, we're going to be very serious about it. But at the same time, you got to be yourself, have fun, and, and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm in the car because I'm back in California. If you watched my last video, I was in Indiana, uh, visited some family and stuff like that. But right now, I'm back in California, and I'm at this little field. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go to this college football field uh, locally, but they had it closed just because today is New Year's Eve. You know what I'm saying? Instead of partying, I'm out here to work. You feel me? This video right here is going to be kind of like a vlog style, man. I'm going to hit this workout, do some sprints, do some stuff like that. Uh, may catch some of that on the camera and stuff like that. But this video right here is going to give you all more in-depth information about the semi-pro league that I'm playing in, about my team that I'm playing on, and, and just information like that. Just in case any of y'all have questions about semi-pro football or if any of y'all are just interested in what team I'm going to be playing for, what league. What's my schedule looking like? Stuff like that. Um, I'm going to kind of give you all some tips too as well. You're going to be playing semi-pro football and stuff like that. Kind of some things that you should know. You feel me? So we're about to get out here and get a workout. Let's get it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. I hope all of y'all are having a great day, man. Keep on working. Keep fighting. And let's get straight to it. So, so right now, I'm changing into the little dusty little practice cleats. You know what I'm saying? These is the Nike Vapor Untouchable 2s. Um... Honestly, I do not like these cleats, man. It's just the way they fit, bro. I, I don't like how they fit on my foot. Probably for games this year, I'm going to be rocking um, Adidas. You feel me? I never really rocked Adidas before. Usually, all my schools was Nike or Under Armour. And so this year, I think I'm going to rock with Adidas. Uh, they Audi Zero cleats are light, and they feel good on your feet as well. One thing I ought to tell y'all, just in case y'all wonder about Semi-Pro, the biggest thing that y'all need to know about this stuff is that pretty much on your own. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it is in different states or different leagues and stuff like that, but you're pretty much on your own. And what I mean by that is like your workouts are pretty much solely based on you because basically semi-pro football is like you have your regular job during the week and stuff like that. And then the weekend is when, you know, the team has activities. And stuff. I'm trying to get this cleat on, bro. I got a fat ankle, man. So a lot of the workouts and stuff, if you want to put in extra work and stuff like that, you really got to do it by yourself. You know, coach is not really going to tell you y'all need to get out here and work out because they understand, like, even the coaches got regular jobs. That's probably the biggest adjustment that I've had to get used to, you feel me? Because I'm used to being on teams where we have mandatory workouts and stuff like that. Workouts already set uh, for you and stuff like that. So really with semi-pro, man, it's what you put into it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do well, um, then you have to put in the work to do that because... Like I said, you're not having workouts as frequent. Got the cleats on, you feel me? I got these little sweats on because it's low-key kind of cool out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I guess I'm going to give you all just a few more, you know, tips and stuff. I'm about semi-pro. Then I'll kind of get into what team, you know, I'm playing for, uh, what league we play in, and basically the gist of my semi-pro team. But we finna warm up first, get the blood flowing and stuff like that, maybe get a little footwork in. 
and then I'll get back right with you, you heard me? I love you, Concept. The fifth got the waves. Hey, yo, Nash. You don't gain a lot of game. You done got up in my heart. You told me that you love me, but was playing from the start. From the start. Now a nigga is so heartless. So heartless. Got me thinking why I even start this. Fuck that bitch. And now she can't be mad when a nigga end up being on some dummy shit. Real dummy shit. I'm smoking high as hell, roll another off the drugs, so I'm out of it. I thought you held it down, but you really was a fake bitch, a counterfeit. counterfeit Bitch, you a counterfeit, the stupid bitch Your love is a mystery, niggas in your history Thought you really meant it when you said that you be missing me But they was all lies, so I'm stuntin' on you And I said, damn, it was a vibe when I was fucking on you And I don't care no more, cause I deserve more And you is not it so I can have more time and fuck any bitch. Any bitch. <laughs> to really think I this love you, shit man. is way. This shit don't work, nigga. Hey, yo, Nashi. You go crazy, <laughs> bitch. And now she can't be mad when a nigga end up being on some dummy shit. Real dummy shit. I'm smoking high as hell, roll another off the drugs, so I'm out of it. All right, y'all, so we done warmed up and everything like that, man. We about to get straight to it. Probably do a little footwork. <laughs> man, we about to do some footwork drills and stuff like that. But I want to say this little thing about semi-pro football just real quick. Uh, because it's something that bothers me. It may not bother y'all. And it's very little. But a lot of the fields that I'm going to end up playing on are going to be grass fields, bro. And I don't know if you can see this field right now. This field... Got holes in it and stuff like that. So that's just one thing that bothers me because I'm used to playing on turf. I know some of the teams that I'm going to end up playing, they do play on turf and stuff like that. But that's just something that you might encounter if you play semi-pro football. Footwork time, baby. I know in a lot of this video, bro, I've been talking about, you know, negative things about semi-pro and stuff like that. At the end of the day, bro, it's a it's a blessing to be able to play the sport I love still, you know what I'm saying? You know, everything I've been through with football and stuff like that, man, it's just a blessing. And it sometimes even surprises me that I still have an opportunity to play. Um, I'm going to give you all my, like, my full football story soon. Um, it's just going to take a minute because it's a long story, man. man. Your boy done been through a lot. Football is one of them sports where it teaches you a lot, you know what I'm saying, just about life in general. But y'all here now, you know what I'm saying, so I feel a lot better. But now it's time to get into basically what team I'm playing for, what league it is, and basically just everything that I want y'all to know about this league, okay? So, so the team I'm going to be playing for is the SCV Tigers, you feel me? Hold up, let me show y'all the drip real quick. Shout out to the ad man, bro. bro. Hit me with the drip, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see the little tiger? You feel me? Playing for the SCV Tigers. SCV stands for Santa Clarita Valley, so if y'all ever in Santa Clarita Valley, and you see me, say what's up, you feel me? The league that they play in is one of the best semi-pro leagues in Southern California. Actually, I think it's the best semi-pro league in, in Southern California, you feel me? Um, it's called the LDFL, and they actually just joined forces with this other league called the GDFL. I think it was like the Gridiron Developmental Football League or something like that. So um, this year, apparently there's gonna be some new teams that the Tigers have not faced before. Instead of their football season being during the fall, 
this football season is a spring season, okay? So my first game is February 8th. Um, by the time y'all watch this, it will be January 1st. So I'm gonna say next month is gonna be February 8th. I think it's against the North County Zulus, if I'm not mistaken, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know where it's at. I don't know what time it is, but all I do know is that's the team I'm facing, you feel me? But um, they have teams pretty much that stretch all over California. Um, they got teams in San Diego, Bakersfield, um, we even facing a team in Las Vegas, so I get to go to Las Vegas. Be alive, Vegas! You know what I'm saying? I get to turn up real quick, go to Las Vegas. That's gonna be a fun little trip. I might vlog that and all that. But uh, we play all around California, man. Another kind of problem that you run into with semi-pro football is there's not a lot of money, you feel me? As far as like team funding, you know what I'm saying? You may have some people that got a rich owner, you feel me? And, and there may be a lot of money, but um, for this team specifically, I'm not saying we don't have a lot of money, but we do not have a like a home stadium. We don't have a stadium where we can call our home. This is where we're gonna play. So I think our home stadium is gonna be Jackie Robinson Stadium, like down at UCLA or something like that. I don't know. Um, we gonna find that out. That's just one thing that you have to deal with being semi-pro is that you may not have a home field to play at. Like I said, you're on your own pretty much. So some people, it's gonna be hard for them to make practice because of jobs or they got kids and stuff like that. Luckily, I ain't got no kids, you feel me? Luckily, I ain't got no kids. Um, I do got a job though. And sometimes it does make it hard hey, yo, for people to make it to practice because at the end of the day, we got to make our money. You know what I'm saying? The football comes second. It's not how like, you know, in college where pretty much football is first or NFL, you know what I'm saying? Um, so every game, you might not have the same people. Some people can't make it for certain reasons, bro. So it's just something that, that's just something else that you have to deal with as well. As equipment, you pretty much on your own. If you want to look nice and buy the nice stuff, you pretty much got to buy yourself. Like I said, I, I can't speak for every team because some teams may be different. But at least for me, I know that I got to buy my own cleats helmet shoulder pads and stuff like that so me i like to look nice and everything like that i like high quality things that's just how i've always been you feel me so i had to buy everything myself and my equipment reveal video will be coming soon and stuff like that i'm just waiting on a few more pieces like my visor and everything like that but yeah you're pretty much on your own by that but i know our coach specifically he kind of helps people get equipment if they need equipment and stuff like that um you know if you got a good coach like that hey god bless you Literally the day that I'm filming this video is the day that our coach showed us what drip we gonna be having, bro. We gonna be having three different jerseys, three different pants. I'm gonna put them up on the screen and they pop. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to coach for that, bro. That, that honestly got me excited. I don't know if they gonna actually turn out like that. The helmets and everything like that. I don't know. We gonna see though when we really do it. You hear me? This guy looking beautiful, bro. But uh, yeah, man, that's the drip we're going to be having this season, man. I can't wait for that to get in so I can show y'all all that, man. Um, I'm going to be playing defensive back. I'm going to be playing corner, like I said. Maybe a little offense here and there if they need somebody. But that's basically it, man. That's basically the gist of the team I'm going to be playing for. A little bit about semi-pro if any of y'all are interested. And just stay tuned for the videos, man. I'm going to go finish this workout and let's do it, baby. Let's get it. Yeah, go to the mouth because I'm crispy.